What's up people? Hope everything is going beautiful in your world. And of course, we got a bunch of things to talk about today. And the first thing I want to mention is, did you hear Snoop Dogg has changed his name from Snoop Dogg to Snoop Lion? Snoop Dogg's changed his name to Snoop Lion. Why? Snoop Lion. I don't know. I like the old Snoop Dogg. And don't worry, the name change didn't have anything to do with him being high. Or so they say. You see, Snoop Dogg took a trip down to Jamaica and visited this Rastafarian temple. And the priest said, what's your name? And he said, Snoop Dogg. And the priest was like, no, 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 you're not a dog. You are a lion. Snoop Lion is the elevation of Snoop Dogg. There's basically nothing left for him to prove in the rap business. So he decided to move over into reggae. And the reggae genre is something that he sees more of a challenge now. So it's like something new. He's basically starting over. And people are just going to have to adapt to it. Just like when Puff Daddy became P. Diddy and went all the way down to Diddy. And he's going to be releasing a film called Reincarnated. And that's supposed to document his spiritual journey. So that's where Snoop Dogg is at right now. I mean, Snoop Lion. Snoop Lion. Snoop Lion. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's gonna take me such a long time to adjust to but uh, let me know what you think what do you think about the name snoop lion versus snoop dog in the last episode we talked about this girl harper gruzins remember she was like the worst singer of the u.s national anthem that we have ever heard well the parents have now come to her defense because of all the negative comments that she was receiving like it's one thing to say that the kid can't sing good but when it comes to the point where people are calling out like death threats oh she should die and all that kind of stuff that's when things get kind of out of hand they said that it's difficult to sing in a stadium and nerves did get to her and Harper Gruzins herself wanted to prove that she is not that bad of a singer. She decided to do a rendition for ABC News. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? Now after comparing this version to the previous version by the dawn's early and I do have to admit that the girl does have a voice and like I said she has a lot of time to develop her voice but Harper why didn't you sing it like this at the soccer game for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and then of course there's those people out there that say Harper you still sing bad and there's always some kind of controversy going down at the Olympics eight female badminton players from South Korea Indonesia and China were disqualified from the Olympics because they tried to lose on purpose in order to face an easier opponent later on the badminton world federation said that they were punished for not using one's best efforts to win a match and conducting oneself in a manner that is clearly abusive or detrimental to the sport. But I thought that if somebody wanted to lose, it's their prerogative. They'll just lose in the standings and not gain a medal or something. And now technically when you try to lose a match, it's really not against the rules. But they say that this type of behavior is incompatible with Olympic values. So basically it's up to their discretion whether or not they feel that you have violated the Olympic values. Do you even think that they deserve to be disqualified for doing this? Paranormal activity Four is coming out. They just released a trailer. Yeah, can you see him? What the hell? He's so creepy. Back door open. Back Alex, what's going on? I've never seen any of the paranormal activity. I was talking to this guy one time, this big guy, he's like way older than me. And he was saying, yo, it was so creepy. Like he was scared to go to bed. And I said, no, sir, let me stick to Batman. Well, guys, that was my five cents on everything. Now it's time to hear from you guys. Leave your thoughts and comments about any of your favorite stories down below in the boom box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it wherever you are on the internet. Until next time, guys, I'm Leroy Sedman Kenton, the original natural bond, Jamaican black man. Boom. Me out. We're talking to people about fake hair. Now, I know your hair is fake, so why do you wear fake hair? Fake hair? Yeah. Fake hair? Yeah. Which one? Yours. No, they're mine. <laughs>